Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan from High Media TV, and to welcome back to Nerd News. And we're, today we are talking about Annapurna Interactive, its dissolution, and just a quick, quick little overview of what the fuck happened to the creators of um, wonderful games such as The Outer Wild, which, if you haven't played The Outer Wild, go play The Outer Wild. Do not Google anything about it, just go play The Outer Wild. It's one, it's a, it is a masterpiece that you can only play once, so go in spoiler free. And Apprentice and Action has splintered into two groups, both of which are now working to pick up the pieces, says New Report. Uh, a bunch of people in the leadership left uh, inadvertently, and uh, in a, members of staff as well, so they're very much trying to pick up both pieces. Employees had a, apparently had a strong feeling of reprisal from owner Megan Ellison. Uh, we, earlier this month, this is by Nick Rubin from Rocky for Shotgun. Earlier this month, we learned that Stray and Neon White publisher Annapurna Interactive's entire staff resigned after a dispute with boss Megan Ellison reported a Bloomberg disagreement over attempts to spin off the video game division as an independent entity. The details were nonetheless somewhat scant. A new report from Rebecca Valentine at IGN has since shed some light on the walkout, which has reportedly involved disagreements over the destruction of the interactive decision, division, chaotic departures, communication breakdowns, that's a great Led Zeppelin song, by the way, and a perceived lack of leadership transparency. It's a thorough account of some messy events. Uh, prior to 2024, right at Jane Tensions were already present. Opinions of Ellison within Anna Print Interactive varied from indifference to latent mistrust given previous reports on her behavior towards employees, with anonymous sources citing a strong fear of replies from Ellison in particular, given her resources, history, and reach. Still, IGN reports that the work of Anna Print Interactive was business as usual up until mid-March of this year, when employees were suddenly informed that co-founder and uh, and Annapurna CEO James Massey had been let go, causing a shakeup that reached right up to Annapurna's president, Nathan Gary. Annapurna claimed that Ellison reinstated Gary as head of Interactive and deemed Massey's role unnecessary, only for Gary to also leave the company around the same time. So basically, it sounds like Ellison is not a great steward of a company, not a good owner, uh, she then held a video call and all departed staff returned, including Gary Massey, and discussions began for a potential spinoff of the company. The plan was for Gary and Annapurna Interactive staff to form a new company named Verset, which would oversee currently existing interactive projects. Developers that, I, that IGN spoke to were aware of the plans, and it was reassured that their contracts would be fulfilled. Verset was to become the company's indie arm with former Sony producer Hector Sanchez to lead AAA and AA projects. This included transmedia properties, hence recently announced revenue deals. A lack of internal communication regarding these plans, however, led to employees feeling confused, concerned, and frustrated about the direction of the company and the future of the interactive division, Verset or no Verset. Um, around this time, Bright IGN discussions with Ellison regarding spinoff appeared to have stalled out. And in August, Annapurna officially terminated discussion in a statement to IGN. Annapurna claimed that any implication that Annapurna was backtracking on the deal is false. We agreed to high-level deal terms and signed a term sheet in early August, which makes it all the more surprising we never got a response. Yeah, so, appar so apparently it's just leadership being trash. Um, it seems to me as if uh, they created Stray, they created the outer, they published the Outer Wilds and published Stray. Uh, this is sad because Anaproto Interactive did like did that make a lot of really stellar games and like published really stellar games, and uh, this is you know I think we as gamers lose, which is this is deeply unfortunate. I think you know I think the best solution here would be for Megan Ellison to divest herself of the com company and hell even you know move to a worker co-op model, which would be ideal in perfect circumstances in a perfect world but i don't see that happening which is deeply unfortunate hey thanks for watching if you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video outside of live streams or just be a join the community and be a part of it you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord discord links there we'd love to have you and given the financial situation of the economy right now i know this is a tall ass but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash 10.
all of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.